Hey pop angels, today's video is on the talented songstress, actress, dancer, Sissy. Now she was born as Bosisiwe Twala on the 15th of February 1987. Now she was born in Ladysmith in KZN, South Africa. She has stated that she was born into a religious family. Her late father was a pastor and so was her mother. They both supported her music career, and currently she's residing in Johannesburg. Sissy became very passionate about music at a young age. She was inspired by the late Brenda Fassi and Lebo Matosa. She has stated that she studied to the university level after she dropped out to focus on her music. She was studying psychology at that time. Sissy first attained recognition after she emerged winner of the South Africa Artists and Development Association's auditions. She became even more popular in 2015 after her first song, Runaway, became a resounding hit. She has since successfully stayed in the spotlight, dropping hits and working with known hit makers including Mafiki Zolo, Donald, just to name a few. She has also debuted her first album called Busisiwe. Now the biggest scandal that Sisi was involved with was when she was in a relationship with Arthur Mafoket. Now Arthur Mafoket at that time was her manager and she was signed to his record label. That was the first impact of power dynamics playing in their relationship. The second thing was they had a huge age gap. I mean, the time that Sissy was born, Arthur was actually making money. So that was the second form of power dynamics in their relationship. And when I mean power dynamics, I'm basically trying to say that a lot of factors made Arthur think that he had power over Cece because she was younger than him, because he had more money, and because when Arthur was introduced to Cece, she was actually someone who was starting up in the industry. Now, if you take all those factors, Arthur did also see a very naive because she was so naive, they started dating. Now, their relationship was very abusive according to Cece and the reason why I was speaking about those power dynamics was because I was trying to explain why the abuse could have taken place. Now, Arthur was accused of assaulting Cece at his Midrand home in 2017. Now, in June 2017, fans across Mzanzi woke up to a report which said Sisi had laid charges of assault against Arthur. Police confirmed that Arthur was arrested for common assault and then was released on bail. Now, Arthur laid a counter-assault charge against Sisi, allegedly that she hit him with a coat hanger and a steel chair and bit his arms during a scuffle. However, the Midran Magistrate Court found her not guilty. In August 2018, it was reported that emotions ran high at the Midran Magistrate Court where Arthur, who was standing trial on the assault charges, broke down in tears. He maintained his innocence, having pleaded not guilty during a previous appearance. Now, Cece said that the alleged incident affected her life. And she spoke about how the assault was so bad that it affected her womb and there was a high possibility that she would have never been able to conceive a baby again. And the world was heartbroken by this news because like I said, this was a young woman who had just started her life. To so someone who had kids and he was going to be in his mid-40s at that time. 
Now, unfortunately, Arthur was acquitted of all those charges and he said that a lot of time and dignity had been taken away from him and it would take many years to rebuild this and that he felt that the matter was laid to rest. Now, Sissy was upset and she said despite the judgment, she vowed to continue fighting until the truth is brought to light now this did not actually affect cc in a negative way she felt like if she was going to allow this to affect her in a negative way then she would have never been able to move on with her life now fortunately for her on the 15th of may she did give birth to her first child a son named diallo and she did say that this was god's biggest miracle into her life because when she went through that assault and she was healing from it the doctors did say that her pelvic bones were broken and they had to put screws in them and they said that she would not be able to conceive because the child sits on the pelvic bones however god always has the last laugh now in 2019 cc did share a photo of herself in a bridal gown hinting to fans that she had gotten married however she refused to unveil the identity of the man she got married to and she announced her first pregnancy a few days everyone to believe that her mysterious man is her husband and he is also the father of her child now fans did unfortunately unveil him to be rugby agent and sports entrepreneur Puledi Manemela. now cc was also linked to donald it was alleged that they were dating after they released their steamy romance track landelana they both shared a photo of themselves together on their social media pages and because of how cute they looked fans began speculating that they were seeing each other the hashtag hashtag donald loves was formed after donald ox fans to caption the photo they also released uzobuya a soundtrack after she went out of the Mafukage record label, she then went to get signed with Ambitious Entertainment in September 2019. Now, while other artists were departing the label, she revealed that she was happy there and could see a bright future with them. She definitely is quite successful currently as she just released a song with DJ Sinclair and we definitely just wish her all the best now don't forget to comment down below your favorite songs of cc or your favorite moments of cc we have come to the end of today's video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that post notification bell down below till next time bye